Good morning! So I woke up to, you know, the smell of poop this morning. Opened London's door and she had the biggest poop in her diaper this morning, so. <laughs> Someone's having so much fun with a plastic bag this morning. Is that funny? Are you trying to open the gate? Are you? Yeah. Go, try. What? I just opened it. <laughs> I closed it. Because mommy had to go use the washroom first. Mama likes you. Yeah, mommy has to go use the washroom. Oh, yo, yo, yo. Say hi, daddy. Naka. No, 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 no. Be careful, okay? Oh. Yeah. Gate. Well, the gate's going the wrong way, girls. Okay, hold on, London. Hold on. Let me go at the other side. There you go. Come on up. Oh, shit. Shit. What is going on? She wants to come down. <laughs> Why? <laughs> That's another way to put a door on. Yeah. Oh, mommy, poor boy. Can you help me put it on? Yes. So you push it in here like this. Let's see. berry pancake with some chocolate chips in it and we used frozen so the pancakes kind of got a little wet and what's left since the kids raided it <laughs> we got bacon and asparagus hold it like that what do you see i see london what are we doing right I now i see banana what are we doing uh, shopping shopping grocery shopping Look. hi mommy hi. let's go hi daddy what are you getting? You can show them what we got for groceries. What did we get? Here. Got Banana. Bananas. Bananas. Lots of oranges. Daddy got onions and lettuce. I don't know if you got it. Let's do it. Let's do it. Oh, we go this way. Oh, no, no, no. This way. Say hi, London. Hi. Okay, I think this is enough. Okay. 
You know how to turn it. Push that one. This one? Yeah. Noodles, yeah. London. Come on. Let's go. Got a noodle too? Let's go. Come on, girls. Good morning. Say good morning. Good morning. Happy Wednesday. So I just want to talk to you guys about what's been going on. You know, if you guys haven't read the news in the world, there's the coronavirus going around. And this is, so today's Wednesday. So we've been home since Monday. We've been pretty much trying to self uh, isolating ourselves, self, you know, social distancing just because we would just want to keep ourselves safe and also keep um, others around us safe as well. So today's day three and luckily Karis was able to uh, go to her last few classes of school <coughs> because now school's on, <coughs> oh bless you baby, school's on spring break. <coughs> oh bless you. Uh, oh no, you need a tissue? As I was saying, Karis also had her last class of uh, piano lessons as well. So now basically, um, there everybody's on spring break so <clears throat> we've just been trying to keep busy at home I'm not really hardcore on like getting her to like do schoolwork because it is supposed to be spring break maybe within well spring break supposed to be for two weeks so maybe next week we'll get into that stuff um, but yeah we've just been enjoying spending time with each other we've been doing a lot of baking right what did we do yesterday do you remember what did you make yesterday? Is it flan? Yeah, and she cracked eggs for the first time as well. Blah, blah. So yeah, we've just it's just been a rough time. I hope you guys are staying safe and healthy out there. Right now it's just I don't know how to express how I'm feeling. Sometimes I feel worried, sometimes I feel like anxious, sometimes I feel fine, sometimes I feel like when is this ever going to end? It's just a lot of mixed emotions on my part, but we've just we're just taking it day by day and seeing how everything goes. Um it seems like the government is uh, taking action and just trying to uh, flatten the curve and like just you know so we're just doing our part staying home as directed and just you know seeing how it goes whose beautiful hair is that she's been really into braids lately right such a beautiful girl do you love your braids yeah your hair is getting really long mm -hmm. Yeah. Come on, let's go eat breakfast. No. Come on. Ah. Let's ah, go. Ah, 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 ah. You're eating bun bun for breakfast? <laughs> You're eating bun bun for breakfast too? <laughs> Our breakfast today, you guys know we like to eat big breakfasts here. We got some cucumber. This is from dinner last night, deep fried Vietnamese chicken with some Yummy. jalapenos. Yummy. Some rice Yummy. mixed with quinoa, a little bit of taro, fish sauce, some oranges for vitamin C, and can't live without this, a cup of coffee. And the girls are eating, right? Are you eating? Yeah? Yeah. I'm washing dishes this morning. This has pretty much been my routine for the past few days. I'm just watching the news with our um, Prime Minister, Justin Trudeau. He's just doing like announcements on regarding like the coronavirus and what's going on in Canada. So I just like to keep up to date and see what's going on. And yeah, so far, you know, I don't know. I just, I, I really don't know what to think about this. It's just like, it's a shock to me that this is actually our real life. This is reality. This is happening. 
It's just, uh, I'm, I'm still processing everything. Look at my strips. It's like this very, it's uh, like a chocolatier here in Vancouver. He makes like little chocolate truffles. And this is exactly the shape that it looks like. Good job. Okay, and should mommy eat it? Yes. <gasps> it's so yummy. Thank you. I'll make another one. Okay, make another one. Oh, <laughs> is this your finished castle? Yeah. What's this in the middle? A pool. A pool? Yeah. Whoa. Nice. Where's your door to your castle, Karis? Where do you go in? Uh, Which, where's the door? Here. Oh, in that little corner? <laughs> so the door goes like this? Yeah. <laughs> Good job. Nice castle. High five. <laughs> Fist bump. <laughs> so London just went down for her nap. Karis and I are going to make white chocolate Earl Grey crinkle cookies. She's filling up the chocolate chips right now to three quarters of a cup. But I have it on low heat. Sometimes I turn it up to two as well. I have some hot boiling water in there. I'm gonna make a double boiler. So I put one fourth cup of butter and of course the three quarter cup of white chocolate chips. And we're just gonna let that melt slowly. And after it melts, we're gonna add in our vanilla extract. Do you want to pour the sugar or do you want mommy to pour? Um, mommy pour. Like to this one? Yep, to the middle one. Half okay. a cup. Okay. Okay. Just a little bit more. Is that half now? Mm -hmm. Yep. Yeah. Okay, pour it in. Good job. Karis' second time cracking eggs by herself. She did it yesterday when we made flan. She did pretty good. She only had one tiny little shell inside. So, do you remember how to crack it? Yeah. Okay. Here's the compost. So basically, you go like this. Hold it. You see my hands? Mm -hmm. Crack it against here. Once you see the crack, then you 
twist it open and pour the egg up. Okay. A little bit harder. 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 Nope. You have to do harder. Okay, hold it. And crack harder. A little bit harder. Ooh, there you go. And stick your fingers in. Scared. Stick your fingers in the crack. Yeah, and then pour it up into the bowl. I'm scared. Don't be scared. You can do it. Be brave. Yeah, crack it open. There you go. Pour it in the bowl. Yeah! Whoa. That's okay. We can take it out. Make sure all the egg is out. Yeah, stick your finger in there and get all the little egg whites up. Good job! Okay, and then put this one in the compost. Yeah, take that one out. Take the shell out. Yep. Good job, Paris. It's okay. Oh, practice will make perfect, right? Let me help you. Good job. You want to do the second one? No. Yep. You're gonna do the second one. You gotta finish what you start, okay? That's okay. Let's do this. There you go. Be brave, okay, Karis? Okay. Hold it. Crack it against the bowl. Good. And over. Open it. Yay! You did it! Good job. Yeah. All the egg whites up. Good job, Karis. Nice. Put the shell in the compost. I'm going to wash my hands. Good job. Cause why? Because eggs are? Eggs are dirty. That's right. Not clean. That's right. Good job. Are you so proud of yourself? Yeah. <laughs> Fun, right? Yeah. Good job. For the Earl Grey white chocolate crinkle cookies, I used the Starbucks Earl Grey packets. I used three of them but uh, we ran out, so my sister gave us this. This is from, it's called Fine Tea Dream of Tea Earl Grey Black Tea. That's what it looks like there. And it does have the bergamot aroma in it, so it kind of smells, and that little oil kind of smells like uh, Starbucks. So we're gonna have to grind this up in our pestle and mortar here because it is whole tea leaves, and I usually just put it in the white chocolate and mix it around afterwards. Mmm, that's what it smells like. It smells so fragrant. <laughs> you don't like the smell? Do you like it or no? No. No? Look at the color. It's so beautiful. Can I see? Yeah. Okay. So let's try. Let's do. Whoa, there's glue too. I know. There's one tablespoon. Whoop. Let's try two tablespoons first, okay? Okay. Two tablespoons. Let's try that out and see if that's enough. Do you want to help mommy crush it? Yeah. So just pound, pound, pound like that, okay? Okay. Here you go. Pound it. Hard, hard, pound, 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 pound. So the eggs go in. And then push, I usually go about two first and then I Change it to four in a little bit. So mix that until it's nice and smooth. The sugar and the eggs. It's nicely melted. So we're gonna add in our grounded up Earl Grey now. Oh. Smell good? Yeah. Mmm, yummy. Okay, yeah. you wanna help mommy hold this? Yeah. So we're gonna do one teaspoon of vanilla. Don't touch the pot though, okay? Cause it's hot. Yep. Oh, how come you're moving away? <laughs> Pour that in there. Good job. We're gonna need one and a half cup of flour. I need to find a different container for the flour because this top is just way too tiny. It just makes life a little harder when you need flour. <laughs> That's okay. We deal with it. Whatever drops, that's okay. Just level it. Quarter teaspoon of 
salt. So good. Then I just take my spatula here and I just scrape the sides a little bit and then give it one more mix. So the batter is done. I'm wrapped it up and I'm gonna put it in the fridge to let it chill for four hours. Hi. Hi. Are you awake from your nap? Yeah. You have a good one? Good nap? Bad, bad. Yeah, did you just eat toast and yes. cheese? Did you bad, bad. Was it yummy? Did you bad, bad. Yeah, what did you drink? Juice. Orange juice? Did it have ice inside or no? Yeah. It did? Was it cold? Cold. Oh, what are you playing with? Uh, are you playing with choo-choo train? Oh no, did you lose the screw on the bottom? Look, it's on the floor, baby. Oh. Yeah, where's the, uh oh, where's the screw? It's under the piano. Can you go get it? Do you see it? Over there. Are you no. going to go get it? Yeah. Okay, go. You can go under the piano and not to the other side. <laughs> that works too. I'm just about to make dinner tonight. I'm just gonna do something super simple and easy. So in the pan here, I have some oil and I have some chopped up onions. I'm just gonna cook that down a little bit. And then after that's cooked down, I'm gonna add some chicken. These are just chicken drumsticks that we cut into bite-sized pieces. Then I'm gonna add some carrots and also some frozen corn as well. And tonight we're just gonna eat this butter chicken. I get this from Costco. It comes in a pack of two and it's just really delicious. Uh, butter chicken. It's just super easy. After you just cook all your stuff, you just pour the sauce in and you can make butter chicken pizza, it says, butter chicken poutine, butter chicken lasagna, pasta, chicken wrap. So all sorts of meal ideas. Tonight we're just probably going to dip it with naan or we might make butter chicken pizza. I'm not too sure what we're going to do yet, but this is the naan we get from Costco and it's just so delicious. 